Hi guys, Rob 46 here, working yourselves back to MotoGP 21 on the PS5. Let's continue with our Moto3 career. Now, bad news is I've basically, well, I recorded uh, Sats and Ring and Assen. And then afterwards, I realised that they hadn't actually recorded. So I had the uh, the audio of my commentary, but no actual gameplay, which was so annoying. So uh, unfortunately, I can't show you guys those two races. Um, I did win both of them, as you can see in the championship. We uh, on uh, 219 points. We've got a 55 point lead over Messia now. So it's pretty much between me and Messia. Uh, Costa's moved up to seventh place. He had a good race at Assen, but yeah, very annoying. Um, so I will be glancing over at my recording software uh, throughout this recording just to make sure it is still recording i don't really know what happened to be honest but um yeah it just didn't record so very annoying so that is why you won't be seeing sats and ring and assen um in moto 3 unfortunately but uh, yeah we did get two wins which is good but yeah like i said i can't show you them so apologies for that we go to kimmy ring next five laps both Satsun Ring and Asin were both dry as well. So what I did do as well in uh, what would have been the previous video, but obviously that uh, gameplay doesn't exist, is I'm not doing qualify now. So I'm doing FP3 and starting in a, in 18th place, just because that makes things a little bit more interesting. It means I have to fight for uh, for the win as well. So we're not doing qualifying. We'll do FP3 and then the race. So uh, let's go over and get on with FP3. Okay, time to go racing. So yeah, we will be starting in 18th place. I was second quickest overall. Antonelli was quickest in their free practice, but it's Acosta who's on pole. So uh, yeah, and his teammate in second place. Right, let's see what we can do. Hard front, hard rear. Seems to work very well with the Moto3s. Right, let's do it. Recording is still happening, which is good. Hopefully that doesn't stop. Right. I'll get a good start. Here we go. I mean, that wheelie didn't help. Oh. Okay, that got very tight there. Oh, Yamanaka just went down. Slipstreaming Fodger. So we're inside the top 10 already. At the end of this straight, I'll turn power map in 3 down to 2. Turn it down now. Tried to get underneath Binder there, but thought better of it. Two Red Bull KTM IO bikes out front. Hate this corner. Oh, Fodge is going to come back through. And he has. Not for long, though. We got him back. Oh, slide in the rear a bit there. Okay. End of lap one, we're in ninth. See if we can get a bit further up. Garcia is going with the two Red Bull bikes at the front. Right. Come on. 
Lots of slipstream happening here. Oh, can we get underneath Alcoba? Oh, we did. Got track limits warning underneath Binder. Oh, no. That's put us back to ninth. Okay, well, we've definitely got a fight on our hands this time, haven't we? Haven't made any progress on this lap. Underneath Alcoba in the final corner. He's left me plenty of room. So we are through. We made one place up on that lap. Fastest lap of the race though. Trying to take wide sweeping lines to get the exits. Bit of a moment there as well. Right, here we go. Slipstream Binder. And RT Gas. Okay. Teammate Fanati, fifth place, trying to get past Antonelli. Oh, whoops. Completely messed that one up. I'm trying to stay with them. Oh, the rear starting to let go a bit as well. Okay, Binder trying to come back through, but we're not letting him. Okay, that was better. Oh! That's the rear gun. There's our other teammate, Fernandez. Oh dear. Gonna say the rear was starting to move around and we just pushed it a bit too much. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Can we get back into the points? This is the penultimate lap of the race. Oh, more crashes happening, more crash, whoa, oh, <laughs> no dear, this has not been a good race, still more crashes happening, on to Sasaki, they're both down, we're definitely not going to get in the points now, completely lost my rhythm now. Our points gap is almost going to be halved. Do 
Two crashes. Just behind Tate. Oh, the rear's still going. One lap to go. Here we go. Final lap time. Can we catch Koffler? Probably not, we're a bit too far behind. Oh, we are closing. Can't get the power on when I want to because of the tyre. Oh, a bit wide there for Koffler. We're through. Fanati's got the fastest lap of the race as well. Oh, John McPhee just ahead of us. Not having a good race as well. There's Yamanaka. We saw him crash earlier on in the race. Oh, we're going to lose lots of points here. Going to lose 25 to Messiah. Not a good race. Two crashes. That second one I couldn't really do anything about, unfortunately. We had the fastest lap of the race, though. 55-0. Okay. Oh, look at that. 30 points. 30 points. Still over a whole race wins worth of points, though, so that's fine. Red Bull Ring will be next. Only 10 point lead in the ch team championship though. So no part Fermi or anything this time. Just, well, no points either. Not good. Not good at all. Right, we got a new frame upgrade. Right, we'll have him. Thank you. So next week, oh, we've got quite a few weeks actually until Red Bull Ring. Fuel consumption reduction, yeah, we just as well do that, get everyone on it. Can we get it before Red Bull Ring? It's going to be close, probably just after. It will be just after. But we have it before Silverstone, which is good. Okay, Red Bull Ring. Dry again. Right, let's try and have a better race this time. Okay, let's go racing from 18th on the grid. We were quickest in free practice three. Right, let's do it. Let's do it from 18th. See what we can do. Try and get a good start if we can. Right. Oh, oh, okay, not the best of starts. Come on, use slipstream. Stop wheeling! Jesus! 
That was a very crap exit. Alright, come on. Bridge the gap. Get off me. So Salach and McPhee up next. We have bridged the gap. We had a better exit there. Much better exit. Oh. Too tight into the curb. That sent me out. Okay, that wasn't good. Alright, slipstream, come on. Oh, it's going to get tight. I managed to keep the front end down. Still lost a bit of time on the exit, though. Oh, McPhee is coming through. That's annoying. Much better exit than McPhee there. But just not close enough to do anything with the front group at the moment. That was much better that time. Thirty-eight six. Thirty-eight five for me. Fastest lap of the race. There's Antonelli, ninth place. As we try to close in. Oh, much better exit. We're able to stay with them this time. Okay, didn't really gain anything there. They will go a little bit wide there. We managed to keep it a bit tighter. Oh, that looks like Garcia going very wide. Antonelli right in the way. But we are through. On the wrong side of our teammate. Well, we got him. Good little move. Never fastest lap, 38 2. Couldn't tip in when I wanted to there because Suzuki was in the way. Slipstream. The two Red Bull KTMs are getting away at the front. We need to get past these guys as quick as possible. Okay. Well, that didn't work at all.
Oh. Uh, didn't think I was stopping then, but we did. Come on. Right, I think we got Garcia now. Ooh, okay, okay. Slipstream Fodger. Past we go into third. Better exit, much better exit. Can we catch these two at the front? This is the penultimate lap of the race. Front tyre pretty knackered again. Oh, nearly lost the front then. Messed up my entrance there. We're nearly with them. Okay, we are with them. One lap to go. Messia looking behind him. Fastest lap of the race to us. Front tyre pretty knackered. Oh, Messia very wide there. Oh. He's blocking his teammate. I'm on the wrong side. Come on, Husqvarna. We are through somehow, not for long though. Acosta coming through. He's through. How long for though? Oh, he's get, taking a wide line, give himself the inside for the next corner. I've gone wide there, but try and cut the exit. Oh, not quite able to get through there. And we're through. We're nearly there. We're going to win at Red Bull Ring. That was a tough race, though. Whew, that was very tough. I don't think we were going to get that, then. I think on the penultimate lap, when the, the gap was looking pretty big, I didn't think we were going to be able to catch him, but we just managed to catch him right at the end of the penultimate lap. And, uh, yeah, Messiah done his best to stop us getting into the lead up towards turn three. But we done it. We had the fast slap of the race as well. Ooh. Good. Our lead's gone back up. 39 points. Acosta's moved up to 5th place now in the championship. Team championship. We've only got 6 point lead over Red Bull KTM IO though. So that's not good. We get part Fermi this time. 
my software is still recording, which is the main thing. Ooh, that, that was a good race. It was tough. Literally so many corners there. So easy to crash into and out of. Obviously front end into the hairpins. The downhill right hander. And then you got, you know, losing the rear on the exit of the hairpins. And most of the corners at the Red Bull ring. Like final corner as well. But we are back to winning ways. New candidate. Yeah, we'll have him. Timothy Booth. No. And we have our new engine upgrade as well. We'll just as well do the last one, which is maximum torque increase. Get everyone on it, just as well. I know we don't need it, but it's there. Silverstone is next, and then Aragon, and then we've got Mazzano, Mategi, Chang, Phillip Island, Sepang, and Valencia. So we're nearly towards the end of this season. Um, in terms of, you know, what we can, uh, well, the teams that we can go to in Moto2, we've got American Racing, Indomitsu Honda, NTS, uh, MV Augusta, Patronus, Patamanina, uh, MB Conveyors, uh, Aspar and Grassini. That's it at the moment. I don't think we're going to get these guys, but um, we'll see. But yeah, I know a few people have already asked me to go to NTS for next season, but um, yeah, I'll put a poll out on the channel at some point, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll do it that way out of all the. Uh, the things that we've got and then we'll narrow it down and um, do it that way. Right, let's look at the standings for all three categories. Obviously, Moto3, we are leading from Messia in second. Antonelli is third. Garcia fourth. And Pedro Costa is now up to fifth. Moto2 low still has a big lead over Remy Gardner in second place. Marco Bezzecchi is third. Digi Antonio fourth. And Ralph Fernandez is in fifth. MotoGP, it is Zarco who leads now. From uh, Fabio Quattararo in second, one point lead Zarco has. Bangai is third, Miller's fourth, and Alex Rins is in fifth. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I'll just see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch hands, look after yourself. See you guys next time. See you!